Meanwhile, we've learned a Providence nursing home is closing for good. The pandemic only compounded financial challenges. Eyewitness News reporter Courtney Carter tells us how the facility is planning to wind down. Hallworth House, a nonprofit nursing home in Providence, has been open since 1968, but will now close its doors this August due to coronavirus. The coronavirus has affected everything, especially nursing homes. The virus ran through many local and national facilities, and now Hallworth House in Providence says their doors are closing because of it. They've done nothing wrong. I think this is just an example of the financial struggles that almost every nursing home in Rhode Island is facing. But They've been doing the best they can under extremely difficult circumstances. Jim Nyberg, executive director of Leading Age Rhode Island, a nonprofit that represents nursing homes and providers, says while it's a sad hit to the industry, he's not surprised. Coronavirus has turned their industry upside down. The impact has, has been uh, huge for every nursing home. It's affected their, their revenue, and they've certainly been under great strain providing quality care to their residents during this pandemic. The closure announcement comes amid growing alarm about the health of Rhode Island's 85 long-term care facilities. The 23 remaining residents at Hallworth were informed of the closure Tuesday. In a statement, Stephanie Ego, Hallworth House's administrator, said the facility had 51 residents in mid-April, but 28 of them eventually came down with COVID-19 despite, quote, rigorous infection control protocols. A dozen of them have now died. Nyberg says it may be the beginning of a domino effect on nursing home closures in the state. That's the concern. Every year we have tried to highlight with policymakers that the financial struggles that nursing homes are under. And um, I think this unfortunately shows that we were not exaggerating. And for homes that were struggling in particular, COVID might have been the, the straw that broke the camel's back. The nursing home says they will work with the state to transfer residents to other local nursing facilities. In Providence, I'm Courtney Carter, Eyewitness News.